all right what's up guys to the part two of the decathlon decathlon run through help through series as much as i can help you guys i'm just trying to help do my part you know whatever okay let's get into it all right so briefly before the video actually starts i'm going to go over what's in this video kind of like a summary and at the first part what i do is i show gameplay of like my stage two or three run what's one of those so that's kind of just for you guys to see if you need help with those sp stages specifically and then while that gameplay is showing i'm talking about some more things that are a little bit more in depth you could say about the decathlon things that i did not touch upon on the last video i go more into the pets more into the decks just a little bit and then once i'm done talking about that i show my gameplay for the fourth stage of the decathlon and i'm doing this a little bit more different than i actually thought i would but i think this worked out pretty well pretty beautifully actually so while i'm showing the gameplay of my fourth run fourth stage run i i'm talking over it and i'm going I'm telling you what's going through my head and i'm hoping that this helps you guys so you can be not only stage four but everything that's like before that you know what i mean because if you can beat stage four then you can beat stage one two and three so that should be no problem so hopefully i helped you guys out at least a little bit if you did get help then i'm happy for you i'm so bad at intros i'm leaving this part in too all right just enjoy the video so a few of these things crossed my mind after I made the first video and I kind of didn't think about it or like there were other comments, people mentioned some things. The main thing I wanted to talk about was the May casts and the pet. There's because there's more to it. I wanted to talk about the best May casts that you can get on the pet. And first of all, May, the main ones you should have is fairy. Fairy is like the number one thing. And then if you are going to run a jewel on your pet, make sure you're using a brace. Brace is better than the pigsy. It's better than the incendiate. If you have the Maycast Balance Blade Jewel from the new Scroll of Fortune, honestly run that. That wouldn't be that bad. But if you do have a brace, I highly recommend that for the Decathlon. It can save you a lot. It, it's, it's awesome. It's basically just amazing. And then after that, what I would recommend would be Unicorn, Healing Current, Balance Blade, and Tower Shield. Those are the main ones. So the main ones I would run on a pet, right? Just overall, these are any of them that I would use. Fairy. Unicorn, Healing Current, Balance Blade, and then Tower Shield. And then if you want to, you could run like Sprite Queen. Sprite Queen isn't that bad, but I I don't really like the overtimes. I like the main heals. Those are, they just work better for me, basically. And then another thing that you can run, which is insane, are the Will Cast Talents. I'll put some screenshots in the video if I can find some, but I don't know much about these. I'm not going to lie. I really do not. But there are some people that do know. I've seen some videos, some clips. And basically, you can have your pet cast real spells like Vampire, Frozen Kraken, and Leaf Storm. Those are the best three, and Leaf Storm for this one is like amazing because they're death, obviously. And Leaf Storm, minimum doing like 300 damage with a boost from your pet, that's just awesome. Like, why would you not run that? For other decathlons, I would highly recommend using the Vampire or Frozen Kraken because Frozen Kraken, it casts like every three turns, I think. And it does like 500 damage minimum, which is, that's just awesome. That literally, it just stacks up over time. You could use it for the death one, but Leaf Storm, once again, it's awesome. But if you're doing any of the other ones, highly recommend Vampire for that extra, the health back. It's like 200 health every four turns. So that's, it's really not bad. Stack, stack that on with some other like may cast heal talents like Fairy and Pigsy. Like you, you're not going to die. So I highly recommend those. And that's kind of it for pets once again. You just want to have make sure you have a fairy may cast and then healing current and unicorn those are the best three healing ones and then balance blade and tower shield balance blade can cast whenever you shield spam so that's balance blade is really really good done with the pets done with the pets now i wanted to talk about the decks a little bit more right i touched these a little bit i went over like my deck setup in the last one but i wanted to get a little bit more specific with the certain decks that you should be using and I, the best way I can explain this is by making like a, a real life case scenario, basically, right? So let's say that you want to do the death decathlon, right? So you will be fighting death enemies, but you don't have the death deck. So you don't have the flat resist for death and you don't have the life damage, but you already own a decathlon deck for another 
type of decathlon, say you say the fire one, say that you have the four the stage four fire decathlon deck, right? So you have the ice damage and the fire flat resist, right? Keep using that one, but just because of the health and the pips, keep using that one until you can craft like the second or third death deck and then just start using that. Because even a little bit of flat resist, like 50, 60 flat resist is just amazing. I think the third deck has 60. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the third deck does. So really that flat resist, do not underestimate it because that will, it will save you. It will, like a single poison, it takes it off for every tick, I'm pretty sure. So like if you have 60, you're literally saving yourself 60 damage every single turn from a poison. And that is just awesome. And stack that with a set shield you're literally set. It's literally just the best thing. So highly recommend. Make sure you are using the Death Decathlon deck or whatever deck is for that Decathlon. It's just, it it's just insane. And that extra damage, just highly recommend doing that. So that's kind of everything I wanted to go over. I kind of scuffed this a little bit, which I don't really care about. I it's it's fine. But I'm gonna let you guys listen to me talk about my mindset when I'm going through the fourth stage. Some gameplay has already been showing of my other runs, so you, you can learn from those. But yeah, let's do this, baby. All right, so yeah, that was my deck setup. It's The deck setup is honestly not nothing too crazy. It's basically the same one, but I've just minimized everything. Just make sure I have a lot of extra shields. And we're going into this first battle, okay? So right off the bat, I'm just going to be spamming shields. Spamming shields, it's great. It's exactly just what you need. The only thing bad is that at stage 4 they start using poison, so you just have to be careful of that. But basically all you need is just a few pips, because a single Seraph and a Leprechaun basically kills. Better to go with the Nature's Wrath though, just to save yourself, just to make sure it does kill. And that does start doing a lot, so if you don't have a good like Decathlon deck for this Decathlon, you pretty much are going to be screwed, because that poison is just going to do a ton. I did get the Maycast Brace, which was super lucky. It's going to lower that to 83, which actually helps me a lot. And this man is just blade stacking. I know he can't poison. I'm completely comfortable in my situation, and I go for the shield. I could have gone for the Leprechaun, which would have killed anyways, but I didn't. I just know that the Nature's Wrath, it's definitely just going to kill. I'm not even worried about it. We got this battle done pretty easily. And I am voicing this over, and I don't even remember why I passed. I'm pretty sure what it was going through in my head is that I passed to get that chance at a Maycast heal, which I did get. It's something very risky that you can do, and I ended up taking 133 damage. If you used something like a Banshee or like a Ghoul, I would have taken no damage, and I would have been back at full health. But since I used that poison, it was a risky move, but I did get the health, and I was at more health than the round before. So that, that worked out great. Here we go. I only used four cards that time, which was really not bad. But here we are with the hardest battle in this entire decathlon. Really, the middle one. You know how it, you you know how bad it is, really. All right. And I actually got really lucky where she wasted that blade and that shield, which I literally took like three damage, leaving me at six hundred sixty six health. I completely played that so well. I I like the way that worked out. Once again, some lucky fizzles, some good stuff going on here. I didn't want to play too aggressively. So basically, the best thing you can do is just shield spam in the beginning. Just because those poisons really are going to screw you over. And you can get double hit. He can take off one shield, and then the other person can hit you right through that dealing easily 300, maybe 400. So you just have to be careful. Just make sure that you're always prepared for whatever's coming. Just make sure that they can't kill you, basically. That's just the best thing. If you know you're about to die, then just shield or heal. That's just your best bet. Yeah, I was getting a little bit low. I know around here I was getting a bit scared because that second one had a ton of health. Or a ton of pips, I mean. I really could have gotten screwed. If that first one hit, again, it used a ghoul or something, I'm pretty sure I would have been dead. But I clutched up. I'm happy. I played that pretty well, and I did go for the kill with the Nature's Wrath. I'm pretty sure, did I? I didn't. Okay. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm bad at voicing over. Like, it's it's a problem. But I think going for that shield actually was a great move, and right now, I'm in an amazing position. I instantly go for that kill. 
I know that they're dead, and then it's just a 1v1. If she goes for a Banshee, I'm going to clutch up. I can heal. If she goes for a Poison, I'm still going to be comfortable because I'm not going to be that low, and I can go for the Shield into heal next turn. So that worked out great. And then I got the Maycast. At this point, I knew I won this. I've got the Brace. I've got 600 health. I'm not even worried. So then you just, you just pass, you Shield Spam, and that's it. The best way to do these middle battles is to just make sure you're in a comfortable position to take out one of them. I would not recommend going for like higher, like the Farzler or whatever. I don't recommend doing that just yet because stage four, it's just, it's just nothing. It's nothing I'd be comfortable doing just yet. And power pips are low. So you're better off just doing one at a time using Centaur or Seraph and Nature's Wrath. That's just your best bet at this stage. And I'm just playing this one super well. I'm super comfortable with my pips, with my shields and everything. I liked where I was. And if you can get yourself in the same position like this, you're just going to win so easily. That's all there is to it. And right here, you can do the same exact thing as I did a few turns before. I had two shields up. She could have gone for a poison, and I could have gotten the Maycast heal. And that's kind of what I did there where I used the, the Leprechaun. Just to save that Nature's Wrath for the last battle, because you never know. And it, it didn't work out, obviously. I didn't get the heal. But I did end up killing her. I lost like two health there. Not a big deal at all. And here we go. On to the last one. Not going too great. If you don't have a pet like mine or you don't have a deck Athlon deck like mine, you definitely have to play it a lot more careful than I did. And we're already starting this one off strong. We got the Balance Blade for a set. I know I can already hit him with an open shot. I know. I just want to get that extra, that Seraph easily can do like 600 damage i didn't get mantled there so that was completely fine and look i've got two shields up a blade he's already like one tap right now he's literally dead to a leprechaun so this this battle is just fairly easy as long as you can spam shields you are going to be completely fine in this battle trust me that's the only thing you're going to need just shield shield shields that this battle and the first battle just shield spam that's all you got to do and i literally finished this one with like full health which was just absolutely amazing the pet maycasts really come in clutch if you don't have a maycast pet i highly recommend getting one with fairy and unicorn that minimum will just save you so much actually insane and yeah that was it i kind of did that pretty well and the same thing that i did for that stage it applies for the first second and third stage you can do the same thing same cards, even weaker cards, and you can still make it work.